Can you tell me please what ambition means to you? Um, ambition means having a, a drive, like an intrinsic drive to, sorry, do I look at the camera? You can look wherever you're comfortable looking. <laughs> um, an intrinsic drive to create a change of some okay. sort that has, like, yeah, a deep value and meaning for an individual, and it can vary from person to person. Right. And so, where you direct it as as variable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think it, for me personally, my ambitions have changed quite a bit over the years with the more like, uh, I guess, life experience that I okay. gain. Yeah. Okay. So, are you ambitious? I think so. I'm right. definitely, yeah, no, yeah, I am. Um, when I think about, like, um, when I've had, uh, I guess, jobs that haven't been very meaningful for me, um, right. where I can't see the impact that that work is going to have on the planet and people. Right. Um, like, I don't last very long. Okay. I've always been, yeah, kind of, like, driven to do more. So I guess in that sense, I am ambitious, because if I wasn't ambitious, then I would be able to stick to the status quo. The status quo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So why do you think you're that way? Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, I guess I do know. Um, some of it spurs from like a guilt that my parents um, kind of abandoned their own success and happiness for my sister and I to have a better quality of life and not right. be so restricted by the theocratic re regime in um, Iran. Right. Um, so they could have just stayed there and we, we would have had like a, a relatively good life, but right. they saw, they came to New Zealand and thought this is paradise and the freedom and opportunities that it will offer our children will be phenomenal. And for me to waste that sacrifice like it, uh, it triggers a deep sense of guilt, right. so I feel like I I have to kind of you know pay tribute to their sacrifices, right. um, and I don't know I just yeah um, I guess the sense of there's a sense of obligation yeah there. yeah obligation and um, I feel very connected to every person that I meet right. and. Um, having met people who do have like uh, problems in their lives that are caused by society and not doing anything about that. Right. Um, I don't know if it's guilt, but it's sort of, yeah, it's a driver mm -hmm. yeah, to create change. Yeah. Okay. Probably the most ambitious person that I know is Frances Valentine. Uh -huh. um, and so she, from like her... Yes, and she was in her 20s when she um, decided to create an, an ecosystem in New Zealand of uh, like savvy tech people. I guess. Right. Um, and initially it was to um, help in the film industry. Right. Um, but now she's taken that and scaled that to um, create that change within basically every child in New Zealand. Right. Um, and nothing really stops her. Right. She wakes up, well, she wakes up, I don't know what time she wakes up, but she starts work at 7 o'clock in the morning right. and, like, leaves work at 7 o'clock at night. Um, she has this innate ability to bring on board a very diverse group of people to help mm -hmm. her. Like, I don't know if you've visited her. I haven't. I've met her, but I haven't visited her. Um, just the diversity, um, like, gender, ethnic, right. um, levels of ability, um, that she, of, of her team is phenomenal. I've she never cultivates seen that. that yeah, as well. I've never seen that anywhere right. else. Um, and she's also a visionary. Like um, she throws herself into uh, quite uh, different scenarios or like uncomfortable scenarios, and she learns from them very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so she's she sees the bigger picture and also the details, which mm -hmm. um, I think is quite rare for people to yeah. be able to do that. Mm. Um, yeah, she's fierce. She's like a female in the tech industry, which is rare. Um, yeah, she's unapologetic for for her fierceness. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, she should be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious, or are you comfortable with where you're at? Um, I'm definitely not comfortable with where I'm at. Um, okay. I do have a lot of like self-esteem issues, I guess, things that hold me back. Um, particularly with regards to judgment and like my own capabilities as well. Um, but I'm starting to let go of that, like the more people and environments like New Frontiers that I engage with. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
the more I come to realize that I wouldn't be in these places or meeting these people if I didn't have what it takes. Something to bring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.